Ladies and gentlemen, this is the feature attraction of the evening. The best two out of three falls or a 60-minute time limit. From St. Louis, Missouri, weighing 233 pounds, Lou Bez. His opponent from Robbinsdale, Minnesota, weighing 218 pounds, Vern Gagne. The referee, Tony Hadjik. Good evening, everyone. This is Russ Davis speaking to you from Ringside International Amphitheater in Chicago. You would say something like that. Good evening, everyone. This is Russ Davis speaking to you. Ringside International Amphitheater in Chicago, where tonight we have another World's Heavyweight Championship bout, this time between probably the most upstanding of the young challengers in the wrestling business today, Vern Gagne, and the defending champion of the National Wrestling Alliance, NWA, Lou Thaz. The boys here have taken their instructions from referee Tony Hajek. You can see the belt that Lou's wearing that he hopes to wear out of this ring tonight. His chances are probably closer to being beaten here tonight by all of the dope that comes down the pike than that that has ever been put up against him since the night that he won the belt some few years back. Here we go. Best Two out of three falls. A one-hour time limit, a world championship match. Watch it. You'll see the finest wrestling in the world. A match that only Fred Kohler could bring together. Got a full house here tonight. It's tense. Trying to figure out what's going to happen here. Lou Bulldog and Thez trying to put him right back on the ropes. Well, it seems Mr. Thez can be handled too. Get out of the way, says Thez to Hajek. Well, well. Look out, fellas. Hey, whoo, you're almost out of the fairway. These boys are wrestling not only for the championship, but for all of the wealth that goes to the guy who holds it. The Income Tax Department and Fred Kohler only know what the World Heavyweight Championship has been worth to Lou Fez. Whatever it is, you can rest assured the young Ganya knows what it's all about, and he's going to try and get on that gravy train himself. Ganya's younger, faster, lighter than Fez. Nice break. Into the corner, it'll have to be broken up. It is. Guy Thez crowds. He's fast. For a big man, he's as fast as lightning. Thez took a wrist lock, winged it into a head scissors. On Ganya. Still head scissors on Ganya. He's trying to flail out of it here. Have absolutely no regard for his ears, his head, or his chin. I understand from Fred Kohler that people have come to Chicago tonight from as far away as Rhode Island. And there's a whole free train carloads of people here from Minneapolis to watch this match. That's Vern's hometown. They're all interested in him. News photographers from all of the papers in Chicago. 
This is a match the wrestling industry has watched for. Well, they've tried to get it together for the last eight months, and only in the, the last few months. Look at Ganya come out of that thing, will you? But you saw how much. Oh, hammerlock on Fez. Look for a minute there like Lou was going to set up that wrist lock winged again and then take the thing away from Ganya twice in a row. But the boy came up with a beautiful hammer lock and he's now putting a Japanese twist to Lou's hand. I don't know whether you can see it here or not. This man Fez is so hard to beat because he never quits. He's like a boxer in that he wrestles instinctively when he's hurt. Ganya's the same way. How's Ganya's name spelled? G-A-G-N-E. Lou was trying to counter with a headlock over the shoulder there. Couldn't make it, couldn't make it come off. These men are both in beautiful shape here tonight. Just as pretty as has, has ever been. Both of them are in the pinker condition. Onto the ropes right above us. Fez may try and pick Ganya up and in order to shake him off. It's one of his favorite tricks. Uh, Lou knows that he's got no soft touch in this boy, Ganya. You can bank on that. Ganya's trying to get that arm back again. He wants the advantage he's built up in that hammer lock. Hammerlock to a wrestler probably is one of the toughest of all things to recover from. You notice Fez trying to whip Ganya around. Uh-uh, uh-uh, you came over the ropes too quick. Lou apologized for it. He says, I'm sorry. Well, there he is back with that hammer lock. He did it beautifully with a feint. You notice that maneuver. Ganya started with a headlock, peeled around, picked up that arm. For a moment, Fez didn't know whether he was after a wrist lock or was going back to the headlock, and he's wound up with this wrist lock added, or rather a hammer lock added. I'm so much up on the edge of the chair tonight at this match, I <laughs> could hardly talk straight. Ganya keeps adding the Japanese version of a wrist lock to this hammer lock as he goes. That has no immediate effect, but over a long haul, it, it serves to pull the tendons in that arm, stretch them for all they're worth. Boys are onto the ropes on top of us. So, here we go, it has to be broken. You might say that Lou has always been a champion, that every time he's defended his title, there has been a lot of booing. Lou's left-handed, and it looks so funny when he squares away with a doubled-up fist. And he'll do that a hundred times a night, and I've never seen him strike with it. Only when thoroughly provoked. The headlock on Ganya, side mare. Two on Ganya. One. One. Boy Hayjack is riding right down on this match. This is an important one. He even got his contacts on tonight. Still a headlock on Ganya. Count of two when he picks up there. Under the ropes, almost out into the laps of the officials there. 
Incidentally, all of the dignitaries of the Illinois State Athletic Commission are here tonight. Boss of the whole group, Joe Trainer, Lou Radzienda, Lou Gordon, Ralph Metcalf. Uh, 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 uh. That's a tactic that Fez gets booed for more than anything else. Fellas. Well, seems as though Ganya's going to pay it back. He's tired of taking it. Wow, what a pickup that was. Lou's head really hit the mat then. Team still hanging on to it. Tanya has a toe hold forward. <laughs> Incidentally, to those of you who would like to have a copy of promoter Fred Kohler's wrestling news. Uh -uh. Thought I was going to have a quiet moment there, but it didn't work out that way. Lou tried with a chin press reverse. Ganya just bulldog, bulldog the toe hold. Here it comes again. This is actually a face grip. You can see better than I can right down here at ring level. Yep, Ganya's still hanging on to that toe hold. Lou's trying to counter this toe hold here with a hammer lock. He's not only that, but he's figure foured up on the thing. He's really putting on the heat. Burns arms just as white as a fresh pick lily from this, but he still hasn't given up his toe hold. Both boys actually have submission holds here. Gunya had to vacate his toe hold, and Fez has got him in a hammerlock now. No longer figure forward on it. Uh oh, here's where the years that Blue Fez has spent in the ring begin to show up. When he starts his little roughing tactics, you can see his knees here close to Gunya's head. There's some talk about the thing being wrong. You can see Hachek scolding him. Still a hammerlock on Gunya. It's a choke that Blue had, and the hold is being broken. I don't believe he did it purposely. You can tell the way he stands there. Did it, I think, inadvertently. Uh-oh. That's why Fez is a hard man to beat. A knee lift is perfectly legal, so is a broad arm lick, and he got them both. Lou keeps talking to Gunny. He says, make him open him up. Open him up, son, he says. Sometimes Lou has to keep his head in Gunny's too, because Gunny's red hot over this last exchange he got into and coming off the ropes. There's Fez going after this arm lock again, and he will kip it if he can. Um, it's into a hammer lock. He took it standing. Uh-oh. What Fez caught there was a reverse broad arm right up on his ears. Boys are crowded onto the ropes ahead of you.
Fez couldn't figure that one out. Tanya just pushed him away from him. There it goes again. One thing you can bank on, Vern Gagne is not afraid of Lou Fez. That you can make book on, as the saying goes. And furthermore, now watch this one. That's what I was afraid of, that old referred Pope. Right down Lou's forearm, he hits his own fist. There's nothing in the book says he can't do it, nor can he. Well, Tanya tried for a basket there, didn't make it, and has come up instead with a thigh lock. Into a knee lock now. Look out, Hajik, you'll get caught in the traffic. Well, these boys are into the ropes, and it'll now have to be broken up. Break it up again. Headlock. Headlock, falling in a side mare. Burns Bulldog in this headlock. Still a headlock on Fez. Oh, 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 Uncle Lou, you're in no point to argue that one with him. 20 minutes have elapsed since this match started. It's gone like green lightning, it seems to me. Ooh. You can tell the pressure here, Lou's arms are limp. Vern has a submission hold that he calls a sleep hold. It's a form of a neck lock. He may be softening Fez up for it here. I don't think Fez could submit whether or no. He's almost out like a light. Ganya's really working him down, fine and smooth with it. Let's see what Luke can muster up here. Get out of the way, Mr. Hajek. Bang! Ganya took it away from him. Gunya has, has worked Fez over unmercifully with this headlock. Look out. Oh, look 
at that. He is out like a light. There goes. You're going to have to get him out of here, Vern. That's. Wrestle says Hajek. Says Paul's out. No count. Says complaining of a shoulder. There goes Ganya. And again. Says was hurt then. He tried to make a body check on it. Oh! Bert Ganya says, I'll use my fist if I have to. He wants this belt. Ganya just keeps putting it on him. Ajax says, what do you say, Lou? Says trying to prime loose. Ganya's keeping the pressure on him. Look out. Look at that guy at Fez counter with a head scissors. No, not again. One, two. Fez moved on the count of two. I was guilty of being ahead of myself. So sorry. Fez is trying to bring his weight to bear on, on Ganya's head, but Ganya's still peeled the thing over. Still hanging onto this headlock. Just like a little old bulldog, this kid. We've all wondered, those of us who follow the wrestling game, what would happen when these two got together. Now you're seeing it. Here's a 25-year-old youngster against a man who's been in the game for years. Fez is in his early 30s. Ganya has made that headlock falling in that side mare about eight times in a row, and he lands right flush on Fez's chest every time it happens. A lesser man would have been in bandages and splints by this time. Ganya's still hanging to this headlock. The mere pressure of hanging on to it would have tired an ordinary man before now. Uh oh, it looks like Fez is getting away from him. Ganya's hanging on just to the last fiber of strength in him. But can he make it? It'll be interesting to see if Fez's quick recovery is as fast as usual when he gets out of this headlock, if he does. You know, he has an amazing ability to rebound and revive. Look at him come out. He worked his way out. Then you got him loose again. Another headlock. Falling in a side mare. Brother. I dare say this is one of the finest matches you may have seen in the last 20 years of watching wrestling. These guys are trying all of the cookies are down. There goes that detail again. This is going to keep it up till this turns into a fist fight. If he's not careful. Ganya definitely doesn't like it.
how can a man take this? Strangler Ed Lewis killed a man one night with one of these things. He actually caved his skull in. And this boy Gunya has the strength to do it. Look out. Look out. He doesn't scare loose. He's out to put Brother Thez on the mat, and that's the way it's going to go. Look at these guys go. I've not seen the likes of this in a long, long time. Look of concern on Hajek's face here. I think he's becoming a little concerned about Lou soaking up so much of this punishment. Lou can generally pick up an opponent and get him loose. You can see how he's tired from his headlock. Gunya seems to hate to put all this punishment on Louie, continually telling Haycheck to ask him. That boy's fastened on like he's got glue on him, isn't he? Seems to will faster now when the old merry-go-round's put on. He's trying to get to the ropes. Just to show you how far gone Thez is, he, there's not a drop of sweat on his body that's his own. He's gone absolutely cold and climbing. Look out! Uh oh, both of them took it on the back of the head then. One, two, three. see both of these boys. Here's the... Ladies and gentlemen, in 32 minutes and 10 seconds, the winner by a reverse backdrop, Lou Smith. Hey, what goes here? A one-fall affair? No, it can't be. No, it's best two out of three. The ring announcer meant to say that the winner of the first fall, rather than the winner of the match, with a reverse death trap. But Ganya here is pretty well piled up, as you can see. He took a terrific crack on the head as they went down. Lou's not exactly in shape to run the 400. Rudy Hoffman working over him. Another one of Hoffman's guys over in the other corner working on Ganya. But Thez seems to be the most used up of the two as a result of all of these headlocks. Ganya. Ganya is getting his senses back. He just 
suffered if he had been boxing what stat him out to a good hard clout to the head. Almost a rabbit punch virtually in the way that he fell. Fez did not administer that. We've got a possibility of two more falls, a possibility of only one. Let's stop for a second. Well, there we are, back at it again. Just as the bell sounded. Ganya's problem for the next few minutes is to avoid Fez. Fez is at work, right on the back of Ganya's neck. Fez is not one to pass up an advantage. That's why he's champion. That's a legal lick. Ganya clip him. Boy, did he let him have it. He wants to kick him clear out into the middle of Cook County somewhere. He took him right on that tin ear. Ganya's still not up to snuff here. His face is still white. I don't know whether it's because he's mad or what. a broad arm lick to the back. It's all right. Not a rabbit punch. Break it up, says Hajek. Oh, ho, ho. mother, mother. Pinner one, two. Fez is out actually here. Haycheck didn't see it till he went down for the count. He'll have to get in under his own power. Drag. The same thing again. Here goes the sleeper. Fez trying to get out from under. Ganya having to vacate it. That's his moneymaker. crowd fails, but Byrne won't take advantage. They're still trying to get his back loosened up. John, you're still stalking him. seems to check out with himself so now he's going to go back to business. Wait a minute. Lou walking around here laughing. This is one young and he can't bulldoze. Block on Ganya. Trying to peel Lou back with a backbreaker. He may make it. Well, it'll have to be broken now. They're on the ropes. Oh, Vern came out of here and really cracked his head right in front of us.
sales hand burns a little mad. Oh, did he clip him then? Open handed lick, but it it was a whopper. Gunya's leg was cut as he came out of the ring. He's bleeding rather heavily from it, but he may be on. Here's his sleep hole, and he's got Fez with it this time. No, nope. he almost had it. Fez shaking his head, weird look in his eyes. Still not right sure what his address is. This thing, as Vern puts it on, Upsets the whole neck column. Haycheck in here trying to break it up. There goes that same thing again. Pagania's head that Fez knocked him out of the ring with. Took him with a knee lift then. Another one. A headlock. Let's see what Ganya does with him. Oh, the flying body press may be one, two. He's out. Almost. Almost. Ganya lost that one. One, two. There's going to put him in an open body scissors to cook here for a minute or two. Count of two again. One, two. One, two. One, two. Boy, there have been a half a dozen counts of two here on Ganya. You can just feel the tenseness of this crowd in here tonight. Uh oh. There's another broad arm lick to the side of the head. Burns going to stay down at that end of the table for a minute. There's Bulldog in that body scissors. Brother Haycheck busy counting up to two. head and shoulders that Fez has put on Ganya in addition to this body scissors. Mm. Ganya has soaked up a terrific amount of abuse here. He's been out of the ring been hit with a point of Thez's elbow two or three times and now he's going to try and go through the scissors. No, he's abandoned that. Oh, God, you smacked him that time. Broad arm lick right in under the point of Thez's chin. There's a count going on over Thaz. It's up to five, six, seven. He's in the ring. Now let's see what Ganya's going to do with him. Ganya's treating him with a lot of respect yet. The old warrior knows what he's about. for a head scissors on Ganya. Uh oh Ganya's got him. He's got him. Almost blues out again. Ganya has to wait for him to come back in the ring. 
One, two. Ganya can't touch him. Lou's trying to clear his head. Fez is just dead weight here almost at the moment. Let's see. Ganya wants to mix it with him. This kid has been eager all through the evening. The headlock apiece here. Look out. Flying toe hold on Ganya. that one has a toll here that is actually figure Ford. Ganya's trying to solve the thing here. Lou's using both the power of his legs, as you can see. The, the ankle's actually in a figure four scissors, and then Lou is applying pressure here with a toe. Uh oh he got a headlock. This counter to the head scissors. Look at these guys go, and they wrestle this way now. For almost 40 minutes, if not past it, I'm not sure. I've lost track of time. Uh oh. Uh oh. That was just a simple old elbow twist on the break. Can't save from the expression on Ganya's face. He went for it. Lou's trying to get a wrist lock set up here. Uh oh, look at him come away from there. This boy Ganya is powerful. Although Lou weighs up close to 250, Vern can throw him around like he was a bag of old dry rags. Drag on Ganya. Another one. Uh oh. Here's this rolling leg lock. Uncle Louie's right. Oh, he got a hold of the brass ring. See what Ganya gave him then. Shoulder block right in the pit of the stomach. It may have taken some of the wind out of his sails. Tony Ajak went by me and says, how's time? He was a little confused. Hasn't this been a beautiful match? Hmm? Cross chin lock on Burn. Fez just has to keep an opponent antagonized. Headlock on Ganya. Lou's got him crowded into the corner of the ring here now. There goes that thing in the face again. He lifts one right after the other, right to the side of Ganya's head. This crowd is really getting on its ear at Fez. This is as bad as I've ever seen them. Oh, that one Fez was not looking for one. He's out over the ropes again.
can't touch him. Tanya wants this fall. He wants this match. So does Spurs. One wants what one has. And the other one's trying to keep what he's got. Namely, the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Headlock on Fez. Onto the ropes of Johnny. He got away from that one. Fez wants to congratulate him. Tell him if ever anybody gets away from him on that one. There's one into the ribs. Right. Could be that Fez is taking charge here now. You never know. Look out. Ooh, what a body slam. That was a granddaddy. Here's the sleep hold. Here's Grania's sleep hold. This is out like a light. Or is he? He is. Grania's got him. There he goes. He's clear out. He can't even answer. Hoffman talking to Fez. Always when a man comes out of this, there's a good deal of, of racking coughing. Hoffman has a towel of ice there. Fez pulling it across his face. The winner in 17 minutes by a sleeping hole, Fern Gagne. Talk about a crowd going absolutely crazy. Look at Lou, he's just tottering. I haven't seen him in this shape in a long time. Only once have I ever seen Lou as groggy as he is right now, and that was a result of a dive clear across the ring. He missed an opponent and wound up in the third row of spectators. Knocked seven different ways from Kelsey's house. 17 minutes for that fall. Well, let's take a few seconds out right here. Ooh. Boy, oh boy, what a match this one's been. Two falls so far. The first one won by Lou Fez. The second one by Vern Gagno with a sleeper hold. young Vern Gagne that you're looking at here right now. Ten second whistle has sounded and we're off on the third and final fall. Vern's closer right now. Owning a world championship belt than he's ever been. Vern wants him out of the corner. There's no rule that says Lou has to come out. Lou is complaining to the officials that he didn't have time enough to get his equilibrium back. He had the allotted time. He would gladly have taken advantage of it had it been Ganya who was on the receiving end. Still trying to get himself collected. Looking down at the timekeepers here. There are two minute rest periods. And count as part of the match in Illinois. One hour of elapsed time. 
with a possible four minutes out. We have only about six minutes left to go. There goes Fez with his crowding. Paycheck counting him off. A headlock on Fez. Ganya trying to go to work again. Fez hanging to the ropes. Paycheck breaks it up. Fez got more respect for this boy than anybody. I've seen him wrestle. Headlock. Five minutes to go. There goes Vern trying for his sleep hold again. We're out right above us here. Oh, there's that same body jarring reverse backflip of Vern's. Who just landed like a load of rock? Ganya has to break it up there. This is tiring, there's no doubt of that. Of the two men, it's hard to say who is the most tired. But I would venture to say that it's Thez. Headlock. Clive handed lick to the top of the head. That just jars your brains up real good. Reverse chin lock on Ganya. This can be a choke. A knee lift. Can he do it or not? He tries for his sleep hold. Onto the edge of the mat. Both of them almost rolled out. This is badly shaken up. Either that or he's doing a wonderful job of, of feigning to be hurt here so that he can get Ganya off guard. Headlock again. On Thez. Into another side mare. Here goes Ganya Sleepholt. Oh no, says Ganya. Let go of it, says Hajek. He's got Lou out. Ladies and gentlemen, the time limit has expired. There is no decision. crowd doesn't want it. They wanted Vern to win this match. Ajax saying it's all over with. Well, the fact remains that Luthez still owns the belt. Kanye's not blaming anyone. The crowd is booing its head off. Come on, shake hands, boys. Like good sport. That's fine. Mr. Thez is just interested in being a gentleman, and that's about the limit of it. So, that's the way it goes. Vern Gagne in a draw with Lou Thez for the World Championship. This is Russ Davis speaking to you from Ringside International Amphitheater in Chicago. Hope you enjoyed it.